Ready? Yeah. Check. One, two, three. Okay. All right. Hey, guys. Welcome back. My name's Fawn. And this is Eli. And we're RV East Coast. And as promised, we're back with the last four campgrounds that we wanted to share with you that you should be planning for your 2020 camping trips. If you missed the first part of this video, we're going to put the link, where is it? Right here. So go <laughs> check it out. And without further ado, let's talk about the next four campgrounds that you definitely, definitely most visit yes. on 2020. If yes. you're in the well, in the in the west coast the if you're coast. in the east coast of the united states yes okay so the best glamping experience that we had this summer was massey's landing in delaware yeah by far maybe maybe the coolest campground that we have ever visited yeah yeah definitely um like really really neat having the beach right there on the campground having a really awesome pool with a bar in it like we so desperately wanted to go back with our friends and leave the kids at home because it was such a kind of cool adult place to be but we did have a great time with our kiddos we just didn't you know enjoy the bar and stuff as yeah much. So, let, let me tell you this this is not a cheap campground it's actually quite pricey and we had to save a little bit of money to go there so this is not your typical weekend campground. Um, we, we read in the comments a lot of people, yeah, this place is amazing, but it's not cheap. It is not. This is a vacation destination. This is a, a site that, that you have to book way in advance because it's actually uh, a little difficult to get a site. But in our opinion, it's worth uh, the money uh, because it's not, it's not a campground. It's a proper resort. And something that we uh, address here sometimes is that there is a misconception on the campground industry that if you have a pool, you have a resort, and that is not the case. This is a proper resort. It's like um, you, you just bring your bedroom, your RV. Yeah, and so since, nice. since getting a an RV, these are our vacations. You know, we've foregone the the cruises and the trips to Florida and stuff because this is what we're doing for vacation. So of course we go a lot of weekend trips for, you know, budget places, but then we do splurge a couple times a year to go to a nice place because that is our vacation with our kids and we want to enjoy it. So this is definitely... So what, what does it that special? Let's talk about our favorite features about this place. Okay. Well, you know, like I said, we loved the bar. Um, we also which they have two. They have one with an ocean view, which is also a restaurant, like a proper right. restaurant. Um, and then they have one at the pool, like in the water. You can sip your margaritas and your beer without yeah. leaving the pool. That's pretty awesome. They had a little beach area, which was so nice. A because, private beach only right. for campground. Uh, Calm water, because, you know, it was I think on the bay side or whatever, mm -hmm. um, which was really nice for the kids. If you um, have a boat, oh, the pool was heated, mm -hmm. so nice because so many times, especially at the beginning of the year, it's cold water, and the pool is heated, and they said they said it was heated all through their season, so like until October, it'll be heated. So that was a huge plus. Yeah, they also have a little marina. They have a place to launch your boat, and they also have a little marina. Yeah. So if you have your uh, a boat, you can just keep it there. Your jet ski is, is just amazing. Yeah, and it was really close to Rehoboth, um, which we took the free shuttle service to the beach. Um, so, you know, if you have a family and you do kind of like the beach life, you know, with a lot of people and playing and mm -hmm. um, the boardwalk around, they, it was really close to that and that was a lot of fun too. We took advantage of that. Yeah. For this campground, we made actually two different videos. One was our proper review and another one was our insider tips when we talk about some little secrets that you might want to know if you're visiting this place, such yeah. as the best the best um, sites within the campground you know just some extra information. oh and it was honestly the nicest bathrooms of any campground we've yes. been to um, which is really nice for um, for everyone I wouldn't I was gonna say for the women in particular but for everyone just to have a nice clean bathroom that they can go shower up in and they have these uh, little uh, like sorbet um, machines where you have like a happy or a sad face depending on how you feel 
with the cleanliness of the place and if you are not happy and you press that face the manager of the place will automatically get a text and they will send yeah. someone to take care of that right away yeah so don't let your kids play with us <laughs> <laughs> the laundry the laundromat has air conditioner tv it's, it's, it's an actual resort it's, yeah it was very nice So the next one we want to talk about is the best beach campground. We uh, we can't say enough good things about this one either, just because we went there with um, not only with our family but my brother and his kids came down um, to the name of it uh, <laughs> Cape Charles. Cape Charles. I always want to say Charles. <laughs> Cape Charles K O A um, in Virginia, and we had such an amazing time there as a family yes. um, the beach I mean we spent every day all day at the beach and it was and it was it was, it was literally the best beach for a family because it was the water was very calm I remember you could walk so far away and the water is still not higher than yeah than your waist yeah for yeah, for someone like me who has a lot of anxiety, and especially when it comes to my children, um, the normal beach is is usually very stressful. There's too many people. The waters are too rough. I just constantly worry. Um, but this one was just so wonderful. All of the kids played in there all day. Um, they we had rentals of the little paddle boards and the. Um, bouncy thing and um, the jet ski tour and the jet skis oh my gosh that was we have done jet ski thing. rentals before and it's so boring like for instance we did um, jet ski rentals in um, what was it Ocean City New Jersey and it was boring because they just tell you you see that pole right there you can go the way there you you basically go in a circle for yes, that's 25 minutes an hour whatever time you have but this one was like a two hour it was a tour of the entire bay yeah. They took us under the bridges. And there was some time that you could just freestyle, like you could just do your own thing for to a little bit. Yeah. You can go see dolphins. It's, it's, it was so much fun. Yeah. So another thing that we like about this place, many, many things. Um again, different bodies of water. You have an amazing beach, you have the the pool at the campground, but also they have a hotel. And the hotel also have a different pool, so you have different uh, options. There is also a marina nearby um, mm -hmm. in, at the state park where you can launch your yeah. boat. It's boat friendly. You can also uh, keep your boat at the at the campground. Yeah. Uh, another thing that we liked about this one, the the convenience store was open 24/7. Oh, right, and they had Hershey's ice cream in there, so even a couple late nights, we took the kids over for ice cream. So, I, if you love the beach, you will love this campground. Live music, you remember the, that oh, awesome right. they concert. They had a concert, and the, the restaurant, we ate there twice in the campground, was so good, we didn't feel like we needed to try to find anything around. Yeah, so, and on the, on the, Jacks. Yeah, and the concert day, they had two different type of concerts. One that was around three in the afternoon with the music was a little bit more calm, you know, for uh, kind of like uh, family. family friendly. And then they had another one later at night that was a little bit more wild. Lights and um, uh, the DeLoreans, I think, was the yeah, name of the band. Yeah, it was very uh, 80s themed. <laughs> yeah, it was great. It was it was so much fun. So yeah. we definitely recommend this campground. Yes. Well, if we, you if you love the beach. Because there wasn't a lot of stuff around Cape Charles, uh, but if you love the beach, this is a campground for you. Yeah, your brother-in-law, uh, <laughs> your brother-in-law, your brother and I, my brother-in-law, had a, a seafood, um, what you call it, seafood boil. We ate like gents. We made this giant pot of seafood, and oh man, I had such a great time. This campground. Um, we made some really special memories. Yeah, we did. We did. The next campground we're going to talk about is our budget-friendly campground. So this is a place that we went to, a Thousand Trails campground, um, but we had a really great time there, and that was... Um, that was Hershey's in um... Hershey, Pennsylvania. <laughs> yes, Hershey Campground in Hershey, PA. 
Um, and we dis we say that this is uh, budget friendly because um, we have a thousand trails membership, and if you have a thousand trails membership, this uh, place is included, so mm -hmm. you can stay there up to a couple weeks, and yeah, yeah, you don't have to pay out of pocket. Yeah, so we went there and we were, but we were really impressed with this campground. Yes. Not only is it so well manicured, it and is kept, huge. It's a huge campground. And we had a lot of fun in the area because we went to a theater where we took um, the kids to see Paw Ribbon Patrol experience. Live. <laughs> and we also went to Hershey World, um, which we had a lot of fun there. Now, we did spend some money there buying chocolate for our children. Um, and but, also Hershey has the amusement park, right? which is really nice if you're going during the summer. Um, right. And there's also the Hershey Museum, which is a different experience that we haven't we haven't uh, tried yet, yeah. but uh, it's right there. So Hershey World was free. Now, of course, the theme park the and stuff. World. The chocolate world. Chocolate world. Yeah, um, that can add up. So you want to, if you're on a budget, you want to kind of keep those expenses in if mind. You're watching your weight too. And if <laughs> we, we <not>. don't. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it was just like a, like I said, a really nice, friendly. Beautiful campground and and amenities. It has quite a bit of amenities. The pool is really big. It has a hot tub. It has a uh, plenty of um, uh, activities for the kids. You can go fishing inside. Oh, um, right, and, and something I like about this place is well kept. Um, you know how many uh, campgrounds and hotels they put these beautiful photos in their website, and then when you show up, it's like this is not what I saw on the website. This is not the case is as pretty as it is on the website and the photos so yeah yeah we like it we like it our last campground that we want to tell you about that we really want you to check out in 2020 is Whipperwill. this in is ocean our ocean city new jersey yeah this has the title of most beloved campground because this one holds a special place in our heart. We are incredibly obsessed with Ocean City, New Jersey for many reasons. It's a beautiful beach. It's kids friendly. It's a dry town. We feel it's our happy place. Yeah. We've and been going to Ocean City pretty much every summer since the time the we last, were married. For the, the last decade. We yeah. have been there every single year. And we used to rent, you know, we used to rent like a one, one bedroom condo mm -hmm. and, and go every year um, and then when we bought the RV again we kind of this is our vacation so we kind of thought we were gonna have to give kind of Ocean City up um, but the very first year uh, we, we found Whipperwill which is right out uh, it's the closest campground to Ocean City period so one of the main reasons that we love this campground so much aside from the location is the staff they just made us feel so welcome there. They really make you feel like like wanted and, and like family, like royalty. Yeah. It's a smaller campground, so you get more of that personal feeling. Um, you know, the staff started to recognize us when we, we stayed a whole week there. And yeah. they started to recognize us when we were coming to the pool. Um, and it's just such, like I said, it's a small campground, but there's just such a nice vibe there. Like the kids out playing on their bikes and it's wooded so um in the summertime it feels very it feels very yeah. campy uh, yeah and and again it's also a special because we have good family intimate moments good memories there actually <laughs> this was the year that we decided to train uh a potty, potty train, train our little boy yeah. which by the way if you haven't seen it in our website we have a um a blog post about that if you don't know Fun is an amazing writer, so I'm gonna put a link to the that blog post right here in the description tab. But yeah, this campground uh, is just special for us. Too many memories that we have made in the couple of times we have been there. We love it, and it's one of those that we are hoping to uh, visit every year as well. Yeah. So maybe not like the biggest campground, the best amenities, like some of our other ones that we talked about, but just such a special place in our heart. And um, if you like the Ocean City area or you just like kind of a friendly, a family friendly camping experience, definitely check out Whipperwill. Yeah. So I think that's, that's what we have for 2020. Yeah. Um, 
in our end we are going to continue to visit new places and continue to bring you the best reviews we want to become the best uh, database of campground reviews within the East Coast um, so we're gonna continue to bring you glamping high-end affordable <laughs> campgrounds is gonna be it's gonna be great yeah. it's so hard because we want to go to all these new places because we want to share with you and we want to experience some new places but we also but want, we to, also go want to go back to all those places we mentioned the summer is just not long enough maybe we should move to a warmer climate so we can camp all year long. <laughs> yeah, or we can full time. <laughs> uh, wishful thinking. All right, that's all we have for you today. Thank you so much for watching and we are very excited about this new RV season. Uh, my name is Eli. And I'm Fawn. And this is RV East Coast. Wait, 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 don't leave yet. If you haven't subscribed, please do that. And also hit the notification bell. We don't have a regular uploading schedule, so you might want to hit the notification bell. Uh, so you uh, stay up to date. We'll see you on the next one. You didn't like the ending? Why? I'm asking. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay. All right, I think we got it. Mm -hmm. Thanks, babe.